<sighs> there we go. Right, so what we've got today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is a Walter, Walter's a current mate, they were called Motorlet M701 from an L29 Delphin, which was uh, the Czech stroke Russian equivalent of uh, a Red Arrows. So basically it's a fighter trainer, something that the Russians have used for training their crews how to fly jets. Uh, so, we've got a couple of these, and this previously was considered to be the knacker of the two. So I might be tempting fate here a bit, but uh, it's actually seems to be all right. So there's the sucky end, sucky sucky, and there's the blowy end. And I've got minimal instrumentation on it because of uh, the time thing. I haven't run a jet for two months, which is just like absolutely disgusting. Uh, so now I've got to <laughs> try and point it somewhere. Point it where the phone won't fall over. So bear with me. And if I do this. Oh, how the hell do you swap? Rotate camera. Ah, oh, there we go. Look. Right. If I do that, a uh, bit of a distant shot. Right. That'll do. Right. Let's go for a run. Uh, if anyone's in the UK watching this and something horrible happens, could you phone the ambulance for me? Thanks. I can normally do this with a couple of people. And assuming I make it to the end, uh, I'll give a walk around the engine, all the components, all the bits. That'll be interesting.
Ooh, that's warm. Right, that's good. So, a uh, couple of things that I noticed there which weren't great. I mean, generally that run was ace. But if you were to look up at uh, the exhaust here, just about this side, well, let me show you. This is an injector that I've, I've had to replace because the one originally was coked up, all crap, horrible, and uh, blocked. So I've taking that off my other one now we can see that's where the compressed air comes down these are the uh, combustion chambers turbines there roughly and if you look in here there was flame coming out of there not much just a little bit but there should be no flame at all so it's either this combustion chamber here above it or this one here um, and if it's the one above that's the one with the igniter plug which is this bit there so that's not good that's um but that will be an injector issue so I guess in an ideal world, I need to find some more injectors. But let's, uh, I'm just gonna get the shoe out of my bloody shoe. Stone out of my shoe. <sighs> right. Okay, I'll give you a talk over the engine now. So, oh, here we go. Bless you all. Hope it's not too boring. <sighs> there we go. Right, let's start off with the sexy bits in Blackadder Styly. So there's your intake bullet, this bit here, uh, that contains a starter motor. In some jets a starter motor can be elsewhere and that could be either nothing, it could be, a, it could be an alternator, uh, etc. You know what, I might do one more run in a minute. Let's, uh, I just got to watch the fuel because I probably burnt 25 litres in that run. So anyway, so that's your starter and then inside we have the compressor see the paints coming off the veins but this engine probably hasn't been run for uh, I'm guessing 20 years maybe more so it's, just, yeah, it's not a great thing to do by yourself in case something goes wrong but you know we're locked down and all that so that's that's the sucky end and the weird thing with the sucky end is you can be two foot away at full power not feel much put your hand an inch closer and it grabs you and then you're in that's it game over so this is the blurry end. So there's your turbine wheel there. It's nice, as you can see, it's stopped. So you can actually see it when it rotates, you can't really see it. So there's that. Uh, on this engine, there's one, two, three, I think there's seven combustion chambers. So it's kind of an old Russian design. I'm just gonna go and get my charge because the battery's not great on this. All right, excuse me. Here we go. So seven combustion chambers. So it's got a thing called a centrifugal compressor. This compressor, which is that bit there, that obviously sucks the air in. And it's not an axial like you might expect or you think a jet engine is. Um, it throws it out to the side. That's why it's so wide here. Throws it out to the side, goes uh, then it's split into seven flows, into seven combustion chambers. And the reason that they put these uh, combustion chambers on this engine at an angle makes the engine shorter. Um, if you have a false start and a load of fuel built up in a combustion chamber, that's bad practice to run it because you might get a hot start. So some of that fuel will drain out of that little catch tank that's there. That's why I've got a bucket underneath. It catches all the excess fuel. Uh, being quite a primitive Russian engine, there's your oil tank, very similar to a, an, well, an oil sump in a car, really, down here. And then if we go a bit further, that's the HEIU, which is High Ignition, High Energy Ignition Unit, HEIU. So power, there's your spark plug lead, goes to your uh, igniter there. And what I'm doing is I'm using a Golf Trolley uh, speed controller and solenoid switch there to power the starter motor. Now the thing is, 
uh, you can very easily burn out the starters and you have no chance of getting a replacement so you have to treat them with utmost care and what you can do using a speed controller like this you can current limit uh, the, the power that goes to the starter so it might take a little bit longer to start but at the end of the day your starter motor is going to last a bit longer and of course in the air force uh, um, uh, in, uh, hold on. Yeah, in the Air Force, you just go and get another one out of stores, which you can't really do here. So, so if I go around the other side. Okay, so we have fuel control unit up here. Uh, we have the throttle control unit there. Uh, HB. Uh, I'm buying stuff on eBay, obviously. That's the HB cock. That turns it on and off. And that's your throttle. At the moment, I've locked the throttle to idle. That's your fuel filter. Oil filters are underneath the engine. And I'm currently uh, starting it with 24 volts. Bit of a cheat. Um, there's my oil pressure. And oil pressure is normally, oh, let's have a look. Uh, I'm expecting 10, 15 psi out of this jet. So that's fine. Oh, I'll show you one more thing around the other side. Uh, Go around here, so there you go, product placement. Uh, that's where your uh, alternator would be, and that's where your hydraulic pump would be. And your Taco Jenny would normally fit on there, but let's say this was a quick get me going type job. So, I'm just gonna let Catherine know, I'm just gonna run one more time. So, hope this isn't boring you too much. So, if I go like this, like that, and I'll do the same again once it's running. Um, uh, the phone's probably going to fall off, but there we go. Once it's running, I will uh, come over and have a quick walk around, but I'm not going to leave it for too long. So, plus the battery on the phone's not great. Let's see if we can go for a better view than that. It's a bit far away, really. Let's try down here. Uh, how do I do this? Uh, ooh. Maybe should have thought about this a bit better, but there we go. <sighs> Amelia, when I run this, I, I do want you over there, okay? Now. Uh, there we go.
wasn't a bad run. But, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to turn my light on and show you what I'm worried about. And this is the joys of when you run engines that aren't serviced by the manufacturer and, you know, haven't been run for 20 years and you're doing it all yourself as kind of an amateur. So let me, uh, wait, let me choose my camera. But if I swap images, I don't know if you can see in there. Can you see the veins about half past eight, nine o'clock? The slightly, you've got carbon deposits on burn marks. You're actually looking through the uh, turbine wheel at that, but it's going quicker than the camera can pick up, I think. So uh, there you go, you'll see the turbine wheels and as it slows down, you'll start to see them. And there it goes. Uh, and those dark patches on those blades aren't ideal. There's a few, I mean, it might, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just because I was at idle. There's no discolouring of the turbine blades, um, sorry, the nozzle guard veins behind the turbine blades, but anyway, I'm probably talking boring stuff now. So, uh, there you go, a little bit of a beauty. Uh, yeah, a couple of runs, not been run 20 years, and there we go, it works. A few issues to sort out, a few leaks down here. My bodgy uh, oil pressure gauge up there, which is a, a Festo fitting leak, so, but there we go. In the scale of things, that's the result, so. Anyway, hope you're all well, and uh, stay safe and all that, and I'll see you uh, all very soon. Yeah.